Hey everybody, Matt from Action Music here in beautiful Falls Church, Virginia. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about compressors and using them with a drive pedal. Um, this is a James Trussart uh, guitar. It's got a T-style pickup in the bridge. It's got a humbucking uh, filtertron in the neck, 25 and a half inch scale. Uh, we're going to be looking at this exotic SP compressor here, uh, which is a great little unit uh, going into this hand-wired tube screamer through a 60s deluxe reverb. The cool thing about compression is uh, it allows notes that come out softer to be elevated in apparent volume. It also um, kind of squashes down overly loud notes. You get a more unified kind of uh, sound with chords. It's a poppier sound. It cuts a little better. It cuts through a mix substantially better. Um, classic examples of a lot of compression are uh, country records with a lot of Telecaster, single coil playing on them. They're very heavily compressed and a lot of the the classic 60s and, and early 70s uh, British rock records, uh, pop rock records, used a lot of compression as well. Compression will also give you gobs of sustain if you use it in conjunction with an overdrive or a uh, uh, distortion pedal. So um, really quickly, we're just going to play through these uh, fast and, and let you hear the differences. Um, some compressors work better with single coils than others. Some work better with humbuckers than others. I'll leave that up for everybody to decide. I have my personal favorites. So hopefully it's a little bit helpful. Um, I find for me that compression gives me the ability to execute things a little more fluidly than I could otherwise, just because of the extra sustain and kind of punch that it gives to each note. So really quickly, here's a little lick without compression. With some compression. So it's not, it may not be totally apparent what that's changing. It's much more of a feel thing for me playing than it might be hearing it, but here's a little more compression, same idea. So one of the things that's cool is that's what it'll do for clean, and if you're doing chord stuff, so we're going to turn that off, we're going to listen to Tube Screamer for a quick second, this is a reissue uh, 808. We're going to add some compression to it and you'll hear kind of driving and focusing that overdrive that leads it into a quasi kind of feedback move with the amp on so this deluxe reverb between two and a half and three. So it will do it also at higher volumes even more effectively. So that's kind of the beauty of compression. You can use it to focus and tighten up your clean tones. You can also use it to kind of goose a drive pedal to give it a lot more sustain. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe, be well, uh, enjoy your gear, and, uh, and thanks for checking this out. See ya.